Hello children welcome to your english literature class i hope you are all set to start with your second semester so as you can see we will start a second semester with a poem by rabindranath tagore now you all must be acquainted by this famous poet you must be knowing him very well rabindranath tagore is known as gurudev popularly in india he was the first indian to win a nobel prize for literature so this is a poem specially for children written by him on page 101 in your book you have this poem the week days come so fast and thick how do they travel to reach so quick but why does sunday take so long behind the others trudging on the week days are an unkind lot to go back home they have no thought but why is sunday so pursued that she stays half the time she should the week days come with such dull long faces no child can stand such airs and graces but when at weekends i get up there sunday with her face lit up so sunday no we all uh, all of us enjoy our sundays sunday is also popularly known as fun day by children no sunday means a day of fun for enjoyment you are relaxed no studies no so you it's a break from all the tiresome days of your week So here you can see the speaker is a small child okay and what is the child is complaining what complaint is he making he says the week days come so fast and thick the week days they come very fast and thick thick means there are many in number so many week days we have no monday to friday and even saturday so so many and sunday is only one so week days are so many and how do they travel to reach so quick now a small child you know is thinking is imagining that the days are all traveling so isn't how do they travel by aeroplane or by car how do they come so quickly and but why does sunday take so long behind the others trudging on trudging means when you are very tired you no know, you keep dragging your feet you walking with heavy steps so the speaker says why sunday takes so much time obviously weekdays are Five and six, six weekdays, and then after that comes Sunday. So it comes after every six days. So obviously it takes lot of time. And the speaker is imagining why it, it is taking so much time. It takes so long to come. The weekdays are an unkind lot. To go back home, they have no thought. They keep on coming, no one after the other. They don't want to go back home. The speaker is very annoyed. Doesn't like weekdays, and so he is complaining. The weekdays are very unkind. they keep coming and coming they don't want to go and they stay and they are troubling but why is sunday so pursued that she stays half the time she should you know, something which you enjoy you feel it is passing away very quick you like to eat a chocolate ice cream so when you are eating you feel that your ice cream is over very quickly but if mummy gives you some something to eat which you don't like maybe bitter gourd or maybe some vegetables green vegetables you feel feel your vegetable is not coming to an end so same way the speaker also feels that the weekdays are not coming to an end and sunday is running away pursued means as if somebody is chasing sunday no somebody is coming after sunday so it is running away very fast it stays only half the time the weekdays come with such dull long faces no child can stand such airs and graces again the speaker says the week days are very boring they have all those dull and long faces or sad faces and no child likes all these manners so you don't like somebody with a grumpy face with a sad face so the child does not enjoy week days but when week days are over and the child gets up he is very happy to see sunday with her face lit up lit up means it's all bright sunday is very bright for the speaker no when you read the poem children do you find something uh, 
very different something which you can't apprehend week days the speaker is speaking about sunday as if it is a person no the week day is coming fast going fast sunday is not a human being sunday is not a boy or a girl or a cow or, uh, isn't it so uh, the child is treating sunday and week days as a person so in poems we use different figures of speech in this poem we are going to learn about personification okay what is personification as i already told you in the poem the poet is speaking about sunday no it's saying sunday is taking long to come sunday is trudging walking with heavy steps sunday cannot walk it is not a person so when human qualities are given to inhuman things when human qualities are given to inhuman things then that figure of speech is called personification i am personifying okay like sometimes you say no her pencil is moving very slowly pencil is not moving slowly you know your hand is moving slowly so you are personifying the pencil you are treating the pencil as a person in this poem the week days come fast and think they are unkind week days are not human beings kind kindness and uh, cruelty all these are qualities of human beings but the poet is giving all these qualities to the week days they have dull long faces monday tuesday wednesday they don't have faces but we are giving all the human qualities to inhuman things okay so whenever in a poem no to make the poem very interesting so that the children enjoy the poem the poets sometimes they give human qualities to things that are not human this is called personification okay fine so i hope you got the meaning of personification in your book on page number 103 you also have an exercise and some pictures are also given so when we will be doing this exercise personification will become a much clearer concept for you now look at this write about each of the things shown in the pictures as if you were writing about a person to have been done for you the sun greeted me this morning so sun is not a person no but we are treating sun as a human being the sun greeted me this morning the obedient car stopped at the traffic signal car cannot be obedient okay but we are giving human quality the next one you see there are clouds so you can write down okay the clouds are peeping from the sky okay or the clouds are peeping through my window isn't it you can make sentences you have to write something about these pictures okay as if you are writing about a person so you can write it down as i speak out you can write it down with your pencil in your textbooks the clouds are peeping through my window or the tree is smiling brightly at me you can see you know a bright smile on the tree trunk mm -hmm. so the tree is smiling brightly the shoes lovely shoes so you can write the shoes are shining proudly they are very proud no they are shining the shoes are shining proudly the pencil is number d you can see a pencil the pencil is dancing on the sheet of paper or the pencil is running down the sheet of paper anything you can write okay the snowman you can see snowman is greeting with open arms or the snowman greeted me with open arms the snowman greeted me with open arms okay and you have drums no with the noise of the drum you enjoy with so the drums are bubbling with energy you can write down the drums are bubbling with energy so i hope you got the concept of personification we have done the poem we shall be doing the exercises the other exercises in your online classes so till then all of you listen to the poem practice reading properly so that you can poem has to be spoken with good pronunciation and enunciation okay listen to the poem be acquainted with it and do this exercise till then be safe and take care all the best and god bless